Farmers in Bertie County are busy harvesting the beautiful pink and purple flowers of the Clary Sage plant. The flower is beautiful and has its own distinct smell, but that's not what scientists at one company are after. In this week's People in Places with Pierce, meteorologist Pierce Legion has more on how the Clary Sage keeps the world smelling its best. It's probably in your household and either perfumes, shampoos, colognes, dishwashing detergents, but you would never see it listed. Every spring, the beautiful pink and purple flowers of the clary sage plants light up the fields in Bertie and surrounding counties. It's one of the few places in the world where farmers grow it. But the majority of it is grown here in eastern North Carolina. We have some grown in France and China. Uh, part of the reason it's uh, mainly grown here is this is where it started. Uh, this is uh, where the extractor is. Over 50 years ago, scientists at RJ Reynolds discovered a chemical compound in clary sage that could help enhance fragrances. These pretty flowers do put off a strong odor that can be smelled for miles around. But the scent isn't exactly what scientists are after. Transforming this clary sage from a beautiful flower like this to a fixative used to make fragrances last longer is quite the process. Scientists at Avoca, a botanical extraction company based in Mary Hill, have it down to a science. Typically what we do is we bring the sage into the plant, we do an extraction, we do multiple purifications, and then we do a bioconversion. What they're after is a chemical compound called sclerol. It gives clary sage its strong smell, but it can also be converted into something even more valuable. When it comes in, it's uh, in a plant at less than 1% scleriol. Uh, throughout the bioconversion and purifications, we carry it to sclery lid above 95% pure, and that's what we sell to our customers. Scalary lid is used in products like dryer sheets, detergents, even perfumes and colognes to make the fragrances in them last longer. Demand for the product has increased in recent decades, and more and more local farmers are jumping on board with growing clary sage. We have, do have a very strong network of uh, partners from the grower side, and uh, soils are good to grow the crop here. We have a lot of well-drained soils that work good for the production of sage. We need moist soils to get the sage to germinate and emerge, but if, if we have hard downpours or, or packing rains, you can have major problems. Rain can also be a foe during the June harvest. Sunny, clear, a bit of wind. This is really ideal weather for harvest. The uh, Wet weather really puts a, a hold on what we're trying to do out here in the field. Despite the challenges, clary sage has proven a valuable crop for these farmers. As demand for scalary lid grows, the strong scent and the fields of beautiful pink and purple flowers won't be going anywhere anytime soon. In Mary Hill, Bertie County, Pierce Legion, not on your side. Next week, we head to the Outer Banks to get an up close and personal look at the Berry Island's famous wild horses. Pierce is always looking for unique and interesting story ideas. If you have one, send him an email or you can connect with him on social media.